the Amazon rainforest, where biodiversity thrives like nowhere else. The lush vegetation is home to countless fascinating creatures. And today, we'll show you the 15 dangerous animals found within the vibrant ecosystem. We'll focus on why they're so unique and what helped them earn their place on our list. Number 15. The Black Cayman This apex predator of the Amazon basin is truly remarkable. The locals and tourists fear it for its sheer size and ferocity, and there are few Amazonian animals who'd risk wading in their territory. The black caiman gets its name from its impressive colorations, featuring dark scaly skin ranging from a grayish black to a deep charcoal. Their dark appearance camouflages them during night hunts. It's their sheer size and strength that gives them a much needed edge in the rainforest. A male black caiman can reach a length of up to 17 feet, or a little over 5 meters, and weigh anywhere between 800 and 1,000 pounds. Their diet is simple. Eat anything they can clamp their 70-plus teeth down on and crush them with their powerful mandibles. This includes turtles, giant otters, jaguars, and piranhas. A black caiman's bite force can be as powerful as 4,000 PSI, so it not only crushes its victims, but can chew their bones into dust. To put that into perspective, an average human has a bite force of about 162 PSI, and a gorilla has a bite force of 1,300 PSI. Even big cats like cougars and jaguars avoid the swamps and lakes the black caimans call home. They rarely attack humans, but these attacks are not uncommon. The Worldwide Crocodilian Attack Database, called Croc Bite, reported that between January 2008 and October 2013, 43 people were attacked by black caimans, and fewer than 8 people died. The black caiman is highly territorial and will do everything in its power to protect itself and its young. Number 14. The Bull Shark Out of more than 480 shark species, only the Great White and the Tiger are known to attack humans. But people often forget that the bull shark is the third most dangerous shark species to humans. It's called the pit bull of the sea, and when you see it wading 30 meters deep in the ocean, you understand why. The bull shark is massive and terrifying. Just like the black caiman, it feasts on anything it can find. They prefer hunting in groups and often ambush their prey from all directions. But here's a strange fact. They have poor eyesight. A recent study on the bull shark's vision showed that their eyes can only detect black and white, meaning they view the world like a film from the 1920s. Despite the handicap, however, they're extremely formidable. Their keen sense of smell compensates for their poor vision, which means that they don't look at what they're eating. They simply clamp their jaws into their victims. This is why they'll often mistake a human as potential food and go on the offensive. Studies have recorded more than 120 attacks worldwide throughout history, but fortunately a majority of these attacks were non-fatal. This means that the bull shark may have been investigating a foreign object in the water and probed it by biting it. What makes the bull shark one of the most unique species of shark, though, is that it can live and breed in both saltwater and freshwater sources. Even killer whales aren't capable of that. This adaptation allows them to hunt in the ocean as well as freshwater sources like Africa's Zambezi River and, of course, the Amazon River. But there's something far more sinister hiding in the stagnant waters of the Amazon. Number 13. The Electric Eel When it comes to high-voltage shocks, nothing comes close to the electric eel. The eel is a unique creature found in the freshwaters of the Amazon rainforest and they're incredibly important to maintaining the rainforest's diverse ecosystem. They primarily inhabit slow-moving or stagnant freshwater bodies, like the Amazon's various swamps and streams. If there's dark, murky-looking water around, there's a high chance that they'll be lurking in its depths. The reason they prefer stagnant, murky-looking water is because it helps them conduct electricity much better than clean water. This helps them navigate and hunt their prey more effectively, but mostly, it helps them release an electric discharge more efficiently. Inside their bodies are electric organs housing nearly 6,000 specialized cells, called electrolytes. They're like small batteries that store bits of electric charge when the eel needs it. Anytime a prey threatens or attacks it, the electrolytes release their charge all at once, shocking their prey with up to 800 volts of electricity. 
This instantly stuns predators like small fish, frogs, and invertebrates like reptiles and insects. However, electric eels are nocturnal hunters, meaning they prefer locating prey in the dark and navigating their surroundings. But be warned, electric eels aren't for the faint of heart. While human attacks are rare, a tango with an electric eel could be fatal. You see, a single jolt from an eel could stun you in shallow water and you drown. Multiple shocks, on the other hand, could lead to heart and respiratory failure. So beware of the dark, still waters of the Amazon rainforest, for you might be in for the shock of your life. Number 12. The Green Anaconda Now the green anaconda is a massively popular reptile and has been the subject of many movies, including 9097's iconic movie starring Ice Cube. But there's far more to the green anaconda than meets the eye. When people talk about anacondas, they're usually referring to the largest of the four species of anaconda called the green anaconda. And nothing can prepare you for how vast and mighty this reptile is. Females are considerably larger than males, so we'll talk about them and how they've adapted to the Amazonian climate. A female green anaconda can reach lengths of nearly 30 feet, or 9 meters, with a diameter of about 12 inches, or 30 centimeters. They pack a hefty weight at 550 pounds or 250 kilograms, and the way they kill their prey is as gruesome as it is a remarkable feat of strength. They are members of the boa family, and if you've heard the term boa constrictor before, then you likely have an idea of how they surround and crush their prey. Anacondas are solitary creatures and stay within their own hunting areas, but once an unlucky deer, capybara, or sheep wanders into their sights, it's game over. The interesting thing about the green anaconda, like the other three species, is that they're not venomous. Their fangs don't inject venom into their prey to paralyze them. Instead, they grab their prey and wrap their massive muscular bodies around them in seconds. They'll twist and turn, wrapping themselves tighter around the poor creature, squeezing the life out of it. Anacondas can detect when a prey's heartbeat stops. So, when the blood stops circulating around the heart and brain and the prey dies, the green anaconda releases its grip, unclamps its massive jaw, and devours its meal whole. It takes several hours for it to consume an entire meal, and days or even weeks to digest it completely. And once it has, it won't need to hunt for a few months. What's sad is that green anacondas get a bad rap for being man-eaters. In Amazonian folklore, the anaconda is called an encantado, a shape-shifting creature known for kidnapping humans it falls in love with. But this is untrue. They don't go out of their way to attack humans, but if an unlikely human falls in their wrap and they grab hold, then it's unlikely that they'll survive. Number 11. The Mosquitoes it wouldn't be an exaggeration to suggest that nearly everyone has experienced a mosquito bite throughout their lifetime. Despite their annoying nature, they're incredibly vital to the Amazon's ecosystem, serving as an abundant food source for birds, bats, and insects. They're also one of the deadliest creatures in human history. In historian Timothy C. Weingard's book, The Mosquito, A Human History of Our Deadliest Predator, he dives into the danger they pose for human beings. To put their deadliness into perspective, here's a scary fact. Over the course of 200,000 years, 108 billion people have lived on planet Earth. And half of them, 52 billion, were killed by mosquitoes. It's an alarming truth, and it all makes sense when you think of them as disease vectors. Their bites don't do much, but their bodies are vessels for deadly diseases like yellow fever, West Nile virus, dengue, and Zika. Mosquito-borne diseases like malaria affect millions of people yearly, especially in tropical and subtropical regions like South America and South Asia. In 2022 alone, the World Health Organization reported 247 million cases of malaria, resulting in nearly 620,000 deaths. While their existence is necessary for a balanced ecosystem in the Amazon rainforest, the danger they pose to humans can be a significant burden on global healthcare systems. They might be small and infuriating, but they're also one of the deadliest creatures known to man. Number 10. The Harpy Eagle The Amazon rainforest would be incomplete without the majesty of the Harpy Eagle watching over its enormous canopies. It reminds one of a sage old wizard with dangerously sharp eyes and equally sharp talons. 
It has a robust body, four-inch needle-sharp talons, and a gorgeous plumage that transforms into a light gray crown on its head. The harpy eagle is one of the largest, most powerful raptors in the world. It can reach a height of around three and a half feet and has a jaw-dropping wingspan of up to six and a half feet. But it's unlikely that you'll see them on your tour of the Amazon. You see, this species of eagle can be found in tropical lowland rainforests throughout South and Central America, but spotting one in the wild is an extremely rare event. They keep to themselves when they're not hunting, perching atop the upper canopy layer of the dense vegetation. And when they need a meal, they swoop down to the lower canopies in search of food. The harpy eagle's diet consists mainly of sloths, but they also prefer monkeys that inhabit the trees of the rainforest. However, the eagle has an important role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. They kill leaf-eating animals and omnivores like capuchin monkeys to curb their populations and reduce overgrazing. But when push comes to shove, they bear their talons to fight for their lives. Not only are their talons over four inches long, but they also have tremendous grip strength. They can squeeze the life out of their prey at an impressive 300 pounds per square inch. The average man has a grip strength of about 76 pounds per square inch. They can easily stab and tear their enemies apart without breaking a sweat. In indigenous Brazilian cultures, the harpy eagles are considered personifications of chiefs who passed away. They're a symbol of strength, power, and connection to the natural world. But if the harpy eagle is a king atop the Amazon's canopies, the next creature is a ruler of the underworld. Number 9. The South American Rattlesnake Imagine walking along the Amazon rainforest floor, unaware that just ahead, a deadly predator awaits. You step on crunchy leaves and hear an eerie rattling noise that sends shivers up your spine. If you're not careful, you might come face to face with a South American rattlesnake. In Brazil's surrounding rainforests, South American rattlesnakes are found far and wide, and the humans who wander in their paths get stung with a complex and deadly neurotoxin that slowly shuts down the nervous system. Between the years 2000 and 2017, there were over 471,000 cases of snake bites, and over 1,800 people died as a result of neurotoxin complications. The rattlesnake's venom is ruthless. Instead of attacking one part of the body, it uses a two-pronged approach. It hits the nervous and the circulatory systems, shutting them down one at a time. If a human were to be stung by it, this is what would happen. Hematoxins, toxins that destroy red blood cells and disrupt blood clotting, would make the wound swell and bruise. It'll feel like a white-hot pain radiating across the bite mark. Once the neurotoxin spreads through the bloodstream to the muscles and lungs, they begin convulsing, causing muscle spasms, twitching, and respiratory distress. The toxins destroy and paralyze the nervous system. If the person doesn't receive medical attention quickly, respiratory failure will follow. The South American rattlesnake should always be treated with caution and respect. Its distinctive rattling sound comes from the hardened keratin segments at the end of its tail. Every time it sheds its skin, it leaves a little bit attached to the end, which then hardens and becomes a new segment of the rattle. Thankfully, they don't seek out humans to attack. Their rattling tails act as warnings for anyone who might stumble their way. While they're not as lengthy or powerful as the green anaconda, their potent venom, aggressive nature, and shocking agility make them one of the most dangerous creatures you could encounter in the rainforest. Number 8. The Assassin Bug When you first look at the assassin bug, it looks almost hilarious. Most of them are gold, leaf green, brown, or red, and they carry a unique mechanism just below their long antenna a long cylindrical mouth that they fold like a switchblade when it's not being used. It looks almost harmless until you witness a hunting session. There's a reason it's called the assassin bug, one of the deadliest insects in the animal kingdom. It likes to feed on small insects, but isn't afraid of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with predators twice its size. You see, it has a disturbing trick up its long cylindrical mouth. Once it latches onto its victim, it injects them with a potent mixture of a paralytic and a neurotoxin. The mixture is so deadly that it liquefies their insides within seconds. Then, it sucks out their liquefied insides like soup, leaving their empty bodies on the forest floor. There's another reason they're called assassins. Not only does it kill its victims in a brutal fashion, 
but it can also use the victim's bodies to lure others into its trap. It's a devious bug, and it can be especially deadly to humans, too. The assassin is also known as the kissing bug, and it's not the romantic kind. In South and Central America, the assassin bug targets people in deep sleep and bites their lips and eyes, sucking their blood out of their skin. And it leaves a parting gift, a deadly disease called the Chagas disease. This disease can be extremely fatal, causing damage to the heart and central nervous system. Like the mosquito, the assassin bug is a vector of this disease, and if left untreated, it can lead to cardiac failure and eventually death. The assassin bug and mosquitoes are tiny creatures, but they pack a lethal punch, making them two of the most dangerous insects in the Amazon. Number 7. The Amazonian Giant Centipede The Amazonian Giant Centipede is the largest centipede species in the world, growing upwards of 12 inches or 30 centimeters, making it one of the most intimidating invertebrates around. It's also the stuff of nightmares. Their colors range from dark brown to a deep orange yellow, and their bodies are divided into 25 or 27 segments, with each segment containing 21 or 23 pairs of legs. But it isn't their alien-like appearance that terrifies people, it's their ferocity and aggression. In Venezuela, these giant killers are known as bat catchers. People have discovered them in certain caves, hanging upside down from the roof by hooking their back legs into the wall and slashing their front legs at the bats. What's more, one species of the giant centipede can even follow their prey into the water. It's not uncommon to see them scurrying into ponds and swimming away. If they wanted to hunt insects and small amphibians in the water, it would only be too easy. They can eat anything from spiders and insects to toads, prawns, and, of course, bats. Once they lock onto a prey, their front legs, which double as stingers, inject a potent venom that paralyzes their victim, allowing it to grip them with its legs and eat it from the outside in. And those stingers hurt a lot. A typical giant centipede sting could cause swelling, high blood pressure, headaches, fatigue, and even anaphylactic shock to those allergic to the venom. No one knows that they're allergic to giant centipede venom until they're stung, and it could be fatal if they aren't rushed to the emergency room. So... Beware of the wandering giant because you won't see its painful sting coming. Number 6. The Tarantula People think that the tarantula is a single species with a bulbous sac behind it, two-inch long fangs, and hairy bristles over its body. But it's an entire family of spiders with more than 1,000 different species. Tarantulas come in all shapes and sizes, like the Texas brown or the lovely cobalt blue, and even the largest, known as the Goliath bird eater. The bird eater gets a bad reputation because it rarely scouts birds to eat. Instead, it prefers smaller mammals, like rats, to fill up its diet. But the tarantula and all its species is an interesting yet deadly predator of the Amazon. They're typically not dangerous to humans, but if stung by one, the person will feel a little more than a bee sting. The bite area becomes warm and sensitive to touch, but the tarantula's bite isn't the problem. It's the hairy bristles all over its body and eight legs. The bristles have small hooks, which dig into human skin and cause severe inflammation. If they get in the eyes, they can cause serious eye problems like inflammation and a dangerous eyesore. And these reactions last for a long time, sometimes even weeks. But arguably, the most deadly dance the tarantulas conduct is with themselves. More often than not, the female tarantula eats the male tarantula after the mating process. This is known as sexual cannibalism, and as medieval as it sounds, it has a purpose. Consuming the male tarantula provides the female with nutrients during the reproductive phase. Fertilizing and caring for her offspring requires significant energy, and the male tarantula is more than enough to meet her needs. For these reasons, the tarantula is both feared and loved. People are fascinated by it, and they're some of the deadliest predators in the Amazon. But something more terrible may exist within the darkness. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. We received a skull scratcher from one of our subscribers, and we're stumped. The creature in the photo is strange, like a cross between an alien and a silverback gorilla. The subscriber said she and her husband were on a tour through the Amazon when they got sidetracked. But just as they were about to turn around and rejoin their travel group, her husband saw the creature lurking between some thick foliage. They were unsure of what it was, so they cautiously approached it. 
hand in hand, ready to run. And when they saw the alien silverback hybrid staring right back at them, they froze. They were ready to fight or run for their lives, but the creature didn't care. It looked away as if it wasn't interested in the two humans encroaching on its territory, or it simply wasn't hungry. They quietly turned around and walked away, but not before she took a photo with her phone. We're unsure what it is. What is the strangest creature you have ever seen? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. The Brazilian Wandering Spider The tarantula and its numerous species are impressive, but the Brazilian Wandering Spider is in a league of its own. Like the tarantula family, the female wandering spider is typically larger, heavier, and more deadly than males. But both of them have massive venom glands that rival most other species. These deadly predators are known for never settling in one place. They literally wander the forest floors at night, hunting for prey, and can grow quite large. They have long, brightly colored legs, and unlike most spiders, they stand their ground when threatened. They lift their front legs in attack formation, revealing sharp fangs that can bring a world of pain. If it bites a human, the results can range from severe to deadly. Seizures, inability to speak, and foaming at the mouth are just some of the side effects experienced by people who've been stung by the spider. In worst-case scenarios, the powerful neurotoxin in its venom can disrupt the nervous system and damage blood vessels in the brain, leading to death. The Brazilian wandering spider can also find its way into nearby towns and villages, hiding in fruit boxes and shoes. So being stung by one is commonplace in the urban areas of Brazil. Thanks to the introduction of anti-venom, however, most wandering spider bites are treated fairly quickly. But an anti-venom can't protect you from the monstrous predator up next. Number 4. The Piranha Native to freshwater bodies like the lakes and rivers in the Amazon rainforest, the piranha is a ferocious killer. Its 20 razor-sharp teeth look as though they've been filed to perfection, allowing the highly aggressive predator to rip and tear its victims with frightening precision. You see, the Piranha movie franchise popularized the scary idea that these small-sized fishes can ambush unsuspecting humans and rip them to shreds. This, however, is the stuff of legends. Ripping the flesh from a 180-pound human in five minutes would require approximately 300 to 500 piranhas. That may happen in the wild. However, piranhas are far more dangerous than we give them credit for. They will attack any prey they clamp their teeth into, including capybaras, snakes, other small fish, and any wounded animal that was unlucky enough to fall into their waters. But their most notable characteristic is that they hunt in schools. Instead of one, multiple piranhas launch a coordinated attack to take down much larger prey, ripping flesh from bone with their razor-sharp teeth in a matter of minutes. They are ferocious, dangerous, and can be deadly to wounded or weakened humans if help isn't found in time. Number 3. The Bullet Ant The Bullet Ant has a fitting name, not because it's murderous or highly territorial, but because of the sensation you'd feel after it stings you. Bullet ants are found mostly in the humid lowland rainforests in Central and South America. They burrow holes in the ground to create their colonies and consume mostly plant nectar and other herbivorous material. They're not especially aggressive, but they know how to protect their territory from unwanted visitors. The bullet ant has a reddish-black appearance, with large mandibles that it uses to secure its grip on its victims. Then it turns its abdomen around to sting the unlucky creature, or in our case a human being, and thrusts the stinger deep into the skin. What happens next has been described as off-the-charts pain that can last up to 24 hours. Their venom doesn't cause sickness or death, and they aren't encountered in swarms like army ants, but their sting causes a pain that Justin O. Schmidt, creator of the Schmidt Pain Index, describes as walking over flaming charcoal with a three-inch nail inserted into your heel. However, the Brazilian Sateri Mal tribe famously used bullet ants' stings as part of their ancestral initiation rites to become warriors. So while the bullet ant could cause a paralyzing pain that can put a human out of commission for 24 hours, they are a symbol of strength for many. As is the next glorious Amazonian animal known as the King of the Amazon. Number 2. The Jaguar The Jaguar is a symbol of power and elegance in the Amazon. It's the largest cat in the Americas and the third largest in the world. 
with a large round head, short stubby legs, and a gorgeous coat of fur dotted with dark spots and rosettes, the jaguar is a compact animal built for strength and agility, and it's one of the deadliest predators in the Amazon rainforest. So deadly, in fact, that it can successfully hunt and kill the black caiman, using its 1,500 pounds per square inch bite force to rip through its tough hide. Jaguars also hunt armadillos, deer, capybaras, and various fish species, including the fearsome piranha. 50% of jaguars are found in Brazil alone, with the rest of the population living in the remaining eight countries that share the Amazon. However, Jaguars and humans have been in conflict for centuries, and friction between the two species has increased in the last few decades. In the mid-1970s, they were hunted for their beautiful fur coats. Thanks to anti-fur campaigns and laws, that doesn't happen as much anymore, but there's still demand for their paws and teeth for traditional medicine. This makes them an endangered species, and what makes this concerning is that jaguars rarely attack humans in the wild. However, if someone encroaches on their territory or threatens their lives, they retaliate in the only way they know how. To bite the back of the victim's neck, squeeze it until they pass out, and drag them to a secluded area. Jaguars are beautiful, deadly predators that must be treated with the utmost respect, which is why they make it to the top two. But who wins first place and why? Number one, the poison dart frog. The poison dart frog is generally a small species of frog, no larger than your thumb. So what makes them more deadly than all the others we've talked about so far? It's all in the name. You see, there are over 170 species of poison dart frogs and not all of them are poisonous. Their toxicity likely comes from their ant-rich diet, especially those that contain a high level of toxins in their systems. A good rule of thumb when encountering a poison dart frog is to look at its color. The brighter and more vibrant its color, the more poisonous it is. And it doesn't hide the fact that its skin could kill anyone it touches. The toxicity is part of a self-defense mechanism rather than for hunting. They store their potent toxins in glands under their skins, secreting them through pores. When it becomes stressed or agitated, it secretes a large amount of toxin all at once for anyone who might try to touch it. While different colors mean different levels of poison, the most poisonous one discovered so far is the golden poison dart frog. Imagine that you come upon a lonely golden dart frog in the wilderness and decide to touch it. Our advice is that you steer clear, but let's say that you find it incredibly adorable. The golden frog will excrete its poison, the deadliest of which is the batrachotoxin, which destroys sodium channels in the human body. Sodium is how our nerves communicate with each other, so what follows is immediate paralysis, cardiac arrest, and respiratory failure. And there is no antidote. Anyone who touches its skin in the wilderness will die within minutes. To put its toxicity into a better perspective, one golden frog has about one milligram of poison, and that alone can kill up to 20 people. No matter how adorable it looks, it's possibly the most dangerous animal you could come across in the Amazon forest. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.